Hello friends, I am Dr. Nilesh Kanjaria and today we are going to talk on Dale's vasomotor reversal. Dale's vasomotor reversal, this is the effect which is studied by the scientist H. H. Dale and based on his name, this is known as Dale's vasomotor reversal. Uh, do you know vaso, vaso means vessel, so it's a blood vessel and motor motor means this is the effect which is produced by the brain uh, if you remember uh, these are uh, the nerves has the two function one is the sensory function another is the motor function sensory function means what sensory function means to carry out the to carry the impulses from the organ to the brain the sensory impulses are being carried out by the neurons from the organs to the brain that is sensory function while motor function means what motor function means the impulses from the brain to the organs are carried out by the motor neurons so here the motor effect means what the brain sending some impulses to the blood vessels and in response to that the blood vessel is either constricted or dilated so vasomotor effect means the vasoconstriction or vasodilation so it's a vasoconstriction or vaso dilation and the reversal means it's a reverse so today we are going to see this Dale's vasomotor reversal so let us start with that guys okay before understanding the Dale's vasomotor reversal we should understand the sympathetic system do you know guys sympathetic system it has their own receptor through which the sympathetic system works the major sympathetic receptors are of two types one is alpha and another is beta this alpha receptor it is again it has two subtypes that is alpha 1 and alpha 2 while beta receptors it has again three subtypes that is beta 1 beta 2 and beta 3 so there is these are total five receptors which are handling or which are controlling the sympathetic system but our organ of interest is what our organ of interest is the blood vessel now this blood vessel it has two receptors it is alpha 1 and another is beta 2 alpha 1 receptors they are more predominant when these receptors are activated by stimulating the sympathetic system by the brain then the activation of this alpha 1 receptors it causes the vasoconstriction vasoconstriction so vasoconstriction if vasoconstriction happens vasoconstriction means what vasoconstriction means the blood vessel diameter of the blood vessel get narrowed now this because of that the peripheral resistance or the total peripheral resistance is increased and this leads to the increase in systolic blood pressure while the beta 2 receptors this beta 2 receptors they are uh, inhibitory protein couple receptors and the activation of the beta 2 receptors it inhibit the adenylate cyclase and uh, causes the vasodilation this vasodilation is responsible for the decrease in diastolic blood pressure the decrease in diastolic blood pressure so overall effect what we are seeing in the blood vessel we have the two receptors in the blood vessel one is the alpha 1 and another is beta 2 so when the alpha 1 receptor is activated it causes the vasoconstriction so blood vessels become narrowed that causes the increase in the total peripheral resistance that leads to the increase in systolic blood pressure while when the beta 2 receptors are activated beta 2 receptors are activated that causes the vasodilation and vasodilation is responsible for the decrease in diastolic blood pressure now let us see some uh, inherent molecules sympathomimetic molecules which is present in our body the major two they are noradrenaline and another is adrenaline the noradrenaline it is having the agonistic effect on alpha 1 
in alpha 2 receptors while the adrenaline it has the effect on all five receptors alpha 1 alpha 2 beta 1 beta 2 and beta 3 so here it is very important the HH Dale has studied this effect of the adrenaline what he has studied is so when he has injected the adrenaline when he has injected the adrenaline what he has seen the initially there was the increase in blood pressure that he has seen and then after he found there is a decrease in the blood pressure so what he has observed or what he has analyzed that initially the blood pressure is increased because of the activation of alpha 1 receptor so increase in the systolic blood pressure is observed while after the effect after completion of this effect of alpha 1 receptor he has found the decrease in the diastolic blood pressure and this decrease in the diastolic blood pressure he has observed because of the activation of b2 receptors so the vasoconstriction or the increase in systolic blood pressure is observed because of what because of alpha 1 receptor and decrease in the diastolic blood pressure he was found because of what because of activation of beta 2 receptors so he has studied this effect now what he had experimented is he had injected the tolazolin actually tolazolin is a non-specific alpha blocker it blocks alpha 1 as well as alpha 2 receptors so after injecting the tolazolin immediately he injected the adrenaline so after injection of tolazolin he has injected the adrenaline and what he has observed is he has instead of what he has observed instead of rising in the blood pressure he found the blood pressure is reduced so what he had studied that the alpha 1 effect is not observed he has he didn't find any effect or he didn't find the vasoconstriction or increase in blood pressure so what was the reason that he had injected the tolazolin before the adrenaline and that is the effect of alpha 1 blocker so he had blocked the alpha 1 receptors so now whatever effect is exposed this effect is because of the activation of beta 2 receptor so the curve is changed the direction of the curve is changed and which is known as the reversal so this is all about Dale's vasomotor reversal but if you want to write in the exam then how can we write this we have to draw this two diagram we have to draw this two and then we have to write like this so first the blood pressure is regulated by the two adrenergic receptors that we have discussed in the blood vessels blood pressure is regulated by two adrenergic receptors which are the alpha 1 and beta 2 so when alpha 1 receptors are activated causes the vasoconstriction and increase in systolic blood pressure while when beta 2 receptors are activated it causes vasodilation and that leads to decrease in diastolic blood pressure see adrenaline is the inherent molecule which is present in our body it's endogenous it's a hormone as well as it's a neurotransmitter in the sympathetic system so it's a sympathomimetic drug sympathomimetic means the compounds or the drugs which stimulate the sympathetic system they are known as sympathomimetic so adrenaline is a sympathomimetic that stimulates the both receptors alpha 1 as well as beta 2 so when the adrenaline is given it stimulates the first alpha 1 receptors and causes the vasoconstriction so increase in the peripheral resistance and increase in systolic blood pressure while it also shows the effect on beta 2 receptors and uh, it produces a decrease in diastolic blood pressure but initially whatever effect you are observing that is because of alpha 1 that increase in systolic blood pressure then the second effect you are observing it is because of the activation of the beta 2 which, where the decrease in diastolic blood pressure is observed so if alpha 1 blockers are given first so the hh del has studied with the tolazolin but if we give the prazosin then also we will get the same effect so uh, what he has studied is he had injected it tolazolin which is an alpha 1 blocker so alpha 1 blocker had blocked the alpha 1 receptor so now ever whatever effect you are observing when you are injecting the adrenaline that is only because of beta 2 receptor so you will see the only decrease in diastolic 
blood pressure you didn't find any effect on the systolic blood pressure so the so we find the only drop in the diastolic blood pressure so this phenomena it was first studied by the scientist H. H. Dale and on his name this is known as Dale's vasomotor reversal so thank you guys thank you for watching this video uh, we are waiting for your feedback on infrared@pharmacologyguru.com. Please join us on our Facebook page that is www.facebook.com slash pharmacology.guru uh, If you like our video then please like it, subscribe our channel and share the video to your friends and colleagues. Uh, thank you so much guys.